Are you okay? Oh, fine, so fine. Oh my god. How are your holiday? Oh, very amazing. Wow. We went to. I'm inside, please. Glasses oh, are starting. Morning, class. My holiday was really, really different from others. After eight years, we went back to the village around Upper Lake Albert. And I was really so happy to see my family again. Uh, but when we arrived, a lot had changed. The river I used to play in was no longer there. The soccer field my brother used to play on was full of sugar canes. And you know what? I wasn't the only person who noticed this. Ekintu yo kubanza utu ina kuegesa bantu, omulingo tulalindo buhangwa, nuko tubukozese na bana baitu na baijukuru basange butasisikaide. So we tell them, we tell them the advantages every day, we tell them. Some of them of course know, some of them are on my side. They help me also to monitor the forest. But of course with the time, the forests have been uh, cut down, totally degraded. Chokabu kubanti makisisire, emiti yona bagemaziremu, na hawekyo, because people misuse nature, everyone who stays along the rivers suffers. When we went from Masindi to Bolisa, to, the, Masindi to, Bolisa, to visit the rest of our family, we drove through those areas. And I noticed a weird sign next to the road I asked what is going on. They said something to deal with the oil. Mami Tal, you pimo ati wa you pimo kakaare. You meta ngo udi ma malte ma ege duatien udi utundo a tunde tundo you pimo meta re miss ma jamu yoke. Mundo na kwa gena kufuna meri mo. Beitu, bantu wali kuwa hiva tekeneze kumala, bani watani kwa mili mwamu kuwa hiva tekeneze kumala. E, bantu bandi, kabana, bakusoma, baso mili kuwa hivu hii, mili mwamu kusa kugabwa mafuta. As it has been said in many other oil producing countries, it is either a blessing or a curse. But we don't want to see the curse, we want to see a blessing, but already we are seeing the side of the curse which you want to turn into a blessing. Yes, oil can bring good things to people, but a lot of damage to the environment. Bulisa is already too dirty. I saw a lot of garbage on the ground, a lot of garbage in the villages, a lot of garbage on the roads, and really a lot of garbage in the water. Kitu, mamanya koti wa tek wa lokoba, Bedo, Chalo Oko, Chalo, Be, Danamo, Tiakin, Garcia, Kumen, eh, so so. Mobedo, Mokwa, Enana. Back of Wama Poli, eh, Kaka, Mwad and Bear, Mawa, Kodi, Yeres, Nawayam, Yami Mom. So the deed to appear again, Munoko, so called Dano. Capable of boy putting on when you go as all. A penalty in a chicken and hotel. There is a lot of garbage on the shores of the lake and in the water, and also I saw a lot of human waste. Can the government keep so or a cholera, but it's sure that you're wrong? John Kenya. Kuteka mbantu mani kwa natingu wabibi mbili vya oroni, wabibi ni wapolisi ya mga vya oroni. Ati gigigyo bazaire, batu vya mbili, hawa kuyamba bana wabu hala, manimani kuruga mkitewe kia katano kudwa kia musanyo. So bakuri siya zizi, alekezi ba yambe ukani zili hibiri zisade, ziku vamala kwa ibana wabu hala. Nak kan degil dia, kadang aku 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 lepas itu pagi orang tua ni yang kau buli kan? Kuba, izo ya yoroni, ya wilayah nama masir, gak kolera, kita bantu betul ha.
When you dip it in the water and then you drink it, that cannot be healthy. Why do they still drink that water? During my holiday, I saw all these challenges. Degradation, oil industry, garbage, lack of hygiene, and not drinking water. What could be the solution for all these challenges? Do you know 